I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of sound. Because sound is important for a superhero. I said, because sound is important for a superhero. Hmm, see, the thing is, if I was a real superhero, there would be a da 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 when I strike my heroic pose. Huh, probably made by some sort of musical instrument, I think. Oh, I know, we could make a musical instrument today and then we could make our own sound when we pose dramatically. And I know just the instrument that you'll need. Okay, we're gonna need some baking paper, card, rubber bands, sheet of paper, scissors, pencil, tape, popsicle or lollipop sticks, and a ruler. So I've got an idea to make two different instruments that both use vibrations to make sound. The first one is a harmonica. First, we're gonna take our sheet of baking paper and one of our popsicle sticks, and we're gonna trace around it like that. So it should be a nice rectangle shape with curved edges. Okay, you're gonna want two of these sheets the same, so the easiest way to do that is cut your baking paper out and fold it over so you can get two that are exactly the same shape. Okay, there you go. You've got these two here, we're gonna put them to one side. Next, you're gonna take a thin sheet of card and cut out two small rectangles, about three centimeters long and one centimeter wide. Okay, I've drawn that one, now I want another rectangle that's five centimeters long and two centimeters wide. So once you've marked them out, you're gonna cut them out with some scissors. Okay, so we've got three rectangles cut out. You're gonna take the bigger of the rectangles and fold it in half like this, widthways once. Now we're gonna assemble our harmonica like a sandwich. Mm, I love sandwiches. Take one of the popsicle sticks and lie it down. And then add a piece of baking paper on top. Next, you're gonna add one of your smaller rectangles, but you're gonna fold it in half first and place it at one end of the baking paper here, like this. Now you're gonna take the other small rectangle, fold it in half and place it on the other side, like this. Next, you're gonna add your next piece of baking paper and then your popsicle stick on the top. So there we have our sandwich. Now it's gonna be a little bit fiddly and you're gonna to have to try and hold it all together with a elastic band. So try and do it with one end first, secure that end over here, and then when that's tight, you can then secure the other end with another elastic band. Perfect, okay, so that's really tight. Now what you're gonna do is blow through the middle and see if you can make the two pieces of baking paper vibrate against each other. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that is good. That is gonna be very, very annoying. Now what you can do is you can take your little bit of card, the bigger one, and if you want, slide it in between here to shorten the length of your popsicle stick. And what that might be able to do is help you make a different sound. And what you can see is as you shorten it, the vibration changes and the sound changes. This is how a lot of instruments work. Now, don't worry if you don't actually have any popsicle sticks, because I'm gonna show you a different experiment that doesn't need them. So for this, you're gonna need a sheet of paper, take your baking paper and roll it around to make a tube, and tape that tube closed. Okay, next you want to cover the top with a little bit of baking paper, so cut off enough to go over the top and drag over the edge a small amount, and then hold it all on with the rubber band. There we go. This is it. This is all you need to make a kazoo. What's going to happen if you hum into the end, the sound's going to come out and it's going to vibrate the end and make a sound like <laughs> that is my sort of super power sound. Okay, are you ready? For it is I, Nano Girl, the world's greatest up and coming superhero. <laughs> Good. I feel like I'm on my way to do heroic things already. Yes. I hope you're
you're feeling heroic too. Now, excuse me, I have to go make my bed. Heroically to the fortress of slumber! <laughs> That's my bedroom, by the way. <laughs> I better go.